This video explains why the battery is not charging. Friends, there are three reasons why our battery is not charged. The first reason is the I.O. chip. Every board has an I.O. chip. That's the I.I.O. chip. Our battery communicates with the connector. It sees how much the battery has been charged, how much it is draining, in how many minutes it is going to drain. The battery comes from this chip and then the second reason that happens is from the charging IC. Our charging ICs. There are some issues from this charging IC due to which our battery is not charged. It shows the battery which is not connected, no not connected and which is our third reason which the battery gets over voltage. Friends, this is the most common issue. The battery gets over voltage and the second common issue which is our charging. These two problems are related to charging. And the first thing I told you about the IO chip. They are very rare cases friends. Let me tell you about the over voltage. Then the battery gets the over voltage which is our 19 volts for example as you can see here in the battery. Maximum voltage in this battery should be around 14 to 15 volts. But what is our charging charger is the voltage of the charger if we apply it like here. So direct which is 19 volts reaches to this connector of ours. Then the problem in it is the third reason that I have told you. This is the same problem in it. So today I will teach you as the name on my channel is repair knowledge. So I will give you this information. How do we fix this condition? Guys let me put this charger and show you the voltage at our charger battery connector. See how much is coming. So if I show the voltage at over here. The largest pin which is ours. This is our ground. Have you ever noticed that on our battery connector, the connector of the battery is on the motherboard. There are two pins which are quite big. Then these two pins which are big big pins which are our ground. Well on the opposite side of it like these two pins, this is our positive which charges the battery. So as I put on it then there you can see that our 19 volts is starting to show which is our battery which is the voltage of our charger. Direct supply is being done here. Then this is the third reason that the battery is not charging out of which I had shown you three reasons. This is the condition of the third reason. So friends let's understand this and let me explain to you why this happens and where this issue comes from. If it is happening then on the board, first of all, we will check this connector here friends. We will check this connector. The voltage of this connector is going to which MOSFET? Then friends, I will install the charger here. I have installed the charger here and after installing the charger, if I show you the voltage here, then the voltage here which is our 19 volt which is coming okay. So 19 volt is coming and the name of this connector is DC1. Okay, so we will come to the schematics friends. We came to the schematics and here we will hit the search. DC in 1 I have searched here and found it. I search now what is ours here. See what our connector is. Select DC in. Okay, then our positive pin number of DC in is 123. Okay, 123, which is ours passing through here, passing through a pad. Do you see where we are going? Straight, straight, straight. Where is our MOSFET going on this MOSFET? This is the first MOSFET. Then see its model number, its location. What is the location number? PU 
4201 then we will select it sorry we will not select it we will come on the boat here we will come on the boat pu 4201 then here if you see pu 4201 this is our first mosfet So the voltage will come on this EM house fit, okay? It will pass from here, it will come on here, okay? Our voltage is coming on here and we will check on its gate. Then at such gate, which is 3.7 volt is coming. This Q3.7 is coming upside down because this is P channel. If we come to the schematic then here, if I tell you then what is P channel is our MOSFET. This MOSFET is P channel because it is P channel. How will you identify P channel? This is our gate, okay, on this four number pin, which is 3.7 volts is coming. 3.7 volt is coming and its arrow on the back means opposite. On the side, we will recognize from this, this is P channel MOSFET. If this N channel was MOSFET, then its arrow would be towards its gate. Okay, this location towards the gate means its arrow. It was on the side of the gate, but it wasn't the side of the gate. This is the opposite side. So from this, we will recognize that this is P channel MOSFET. Okay, 3.7 volts is coming to this gate means okay. Ever the P channel should be less than the voltage of its input. You should be less than half. Only then this 19 volt will reach what is on the other side of it. Then come on the board. This is what is ours. What is on this side? What is 19 volt? What is coming then? This is ours. This. Okay. Now we will come back to the schematics. And when we reached here. Now here our voltage has come on this side. Now the voltage has come on this side. Then we will select AD. As I zoom out, there is no further location given here. Where has the voltage gone? Then we will select it and search for it. Then friends, I select it and enter it. If I do a search, then look here. This is not what you want to see. You have just searched here. That is what is showing this look guys. That voltage has now come over here, right? That voltage. That voltage has now come to here where you can see that voltage has come to here and has gone through here towards this MOSFET. So what is the number of this MOSFET? This number is PU4402. So come on board after coming on board. See here PU4402. So now we will see this here. 19 volts will come because the first one which was sent forward and now what is on this side we will check. What is 19 volts is coming here. Then this is also our OK and we will also check such a gate. The compactness remains. It comes in our step friends. See this 1.7 volts means this is also P channel. If we if we look at this then look here. It has 4 number gate, 4 number pin which is its gate. 1.7 volt is coming to this gate meaning this is P channel. So the voltage is therefore coming at its gate 1.7 volts and it's Joe. The voltage of which is here is now passing over here, okay? The voltage here is passing over here because at its gate which is 1.7 volts is coming, friends. Now, 1.7 volt is coming from this at the gate. So this is our OK now. Now, what will we see now? After being reversed here now, where is it going now? After being reversed here, which is going to our, this is OK, PO44U3. Now we will find this on board friends, come on board here, then PU44U3 is an SLR before this. See, this is a register, friends. This register, which is our main register. From here, the voltage goes to all the board. 
So this is this voltage PR 44 over 2. If you will see this voltage, then this is right here. Next to this, we will also have the voltage that is on this. Okay, look at this. Voltage is also passing on this. So what will we see now? Now we will look at the MOSFET that I showed further. See this PU44U3. So what is on this side of it, we will check. So PU44U3, this is here, you can see PU44U3. So what is on this side of it, our voltage is coming, okay. And what is on this side, friends voltage is also coming. Like what is at the gate, like voltage is coming at the gate, then this is what is the MOSFET, friends. It also has 19 volts at its gate. It is also coming on the drain. Even if it is coming to the source, this should not happen. Why shouldn't it be? I'll explain to you. Now here is what you understand. Here you have to pay a lot of attention. Friends, because those who are fresher are friends. If they don't know much about this, then they have to watch this video very carefully. If friends pay attention here, then what is on its drain, friends? BT plus means battery here. You will see what is on the battery here, has shown. BT plus means the section of the battery on this side here. Friends becomes the section of the battery, okay? It becomes the section of the battery here. And what is here becomes the section of our AC. So friends, why does this happen? I'll show you. See if I zoom out of it then. As I told you, this voltage goes to all our boards from this SLR, which is from our SLR voltage goes to all the places where these names you can see. What is this name? You can see this name. From here the voltage goes to the whole board from this side of SLR. When will the voltage go from here when sitting, when the charger is connected? Then here it is 19 volts. 19 volt means 19.5 which is the volt of the charger that voltage will be present here. And as soon as we remove the charger, then friends, one thing happens here. As soon as we remove the charger, this is our daughter's teaching. The voltage of this section of the battery comes from here to here. Okay, then voltage goes to all our boards from here. What will this MOSFET do here when the charger is plugged in? We'll block it. We'll block the battery section. The voltage of this battery section will not let to come here. Okay, when it will block and when and when the charger will be installed, when the charger will be removed, then this is the voltage of the battery, which is our mouse spread over here. It will come to this point and then from here the voltage goes across the board. I have understood this much. I am explaining it to you in very simple language so that you can understand. Here again, if I tell you what will this MOSFET do to the battery section when the charger is installed. It will block, meaning the voltage of the battery section will not allow to come here and as soon as the charger will be removed, then this battery section will come here through this MOSFET. The job of this MOSFET is when the battery will be installed, when the charger will be installed. So it will block, it will not allow the battery to come here. And when the charger is removed, then this battery, this MOSFET, which is this battery, will allow the voltage of this battery to come here. So friends, our problem is the same problem of MOSFET. Why? Because the charger that we have installed, due to the charger being installed, it is coming directly to this section through this MOSFET. That shouldn't happen. This 19 volt which is here should not come to this place whether these batteries are installed or not. 19 volts should not come here. I will tell you what this part is. Where does it belong? I will see it if I select it and copy it. Then copy and paste it here and you will see if here.
If you will see here friends, then this is our mouse fed switching mode for charging our battery from here. Here we have two mouse feeds that charge the battery. So here this is the present here. From here the voltage goes to our connector of the battery. So this is our MOSFET. This is our MOSFET. This is our bad. I will also show you. See this. If I check it. See this. I put it on diode mode. Look at the multimeter. I have put it on diode mode. And if I will check it. Look at what we have here. They are showing 0 ohms. That is, this MOSFET has become short. Here I remove 4 for this MOSFET which is our friends. It has become short. Okay, this should not be the case here. It should be shown so that if I show it here, see here ohms is showing. Then what is here is our MOSFET is short. Here ohms is not showing. Then this is the problem of this MOSFET. If we look at it physically, then see here our MOSFET which is slightly burned. See, as you can see this MOSFET which is ours has burned. Then we will change it. We will take another MOSFET and change the channel further. can see i have changed this mosfet so here if i show you the ohm then see our ohm which is equal to 400 okay then our mosfet has been changed now let's see if we have installed the charger on our connector how much volt is coming 3m has installed the charger on the connector now we will check how much voltage is coming then it has been set on our voltage range now see here our voltage has decreased okay so this is our voltage has decreased and if i show over here see here our 19 volts is coming and on the other side there is no volts coming right because this is what is connected to this connector right charging for charging to happen when we will charge then what is here will be on to be charged now the voltage at here which is draining okay now this is our daughter's problem which is solved friends so to watch videos like this Subscribe to my channel and you will continue to get such informative videos and our course has started that course series has started. So if you want to do some course and watch the course then go to my channel and check it in the playlist. There's a video there. So thank you friends for watching the video. Bye bye until then in the next video.